What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my GPX Film School. Today, we're learning how to create a burning text effect. Step one, select the clip you want to place your title effect. So this is a clip that I have in my timeline, right? So let's say I just want to create a title effect for maybe the first three seconds, right? Step two, you right click on the video and select replace with after effect composition. So what I do is I right click, right click, and I click replace with after effect composition. And now it's loading. Step three, name your file and save it. So I'm gonna name this file burning text effect. And I click save. Step four, click the title icon, select the title font and size as desired. So the title icon is on the top is a big T, so you click the T, and you click on anywhere on the video to place your title. So let's say I wanna place it here, and I'm gonna name it GPX, right? And the font, um, let's say I want a little smaller, this is how you you highlight it and you just play with the size and if you don't like this type of font you can change it to any of your desire okay step five click layer at the top click new click solid click any color and click ok so you click on layer you click on new, you click on solid, and this will pop up. What I usually do, I just click OK. But if you want to pick a certain type of color, you can customize it to your desire. But I just like to keep it simple and just click OK. And the solid color will appear. Step six, click effect and preset. Type in saber click and drag to the solid color that was created. So what I would do, I would click on effect and preset. I type in Saber. And if you don't have Saber in your After Effects, you can of course do your research and download it and it will automatically save to your After Effects. I click on Saber and I drag to the solid color that I created. Step seven, click customize core, core type, and click text layer. So I click on customize core. I click on core type, and I click on Saber, and I click on text layer then under the text layer I click on none and I click the title that I created which was GPX step 8 click text layer click your title I already did that so I click on text layer and I click my title and you do see GPX, but of course it's like a big bright color. Of course, all these settings you'll customize. Step nine, click composite setting, click transparent. So I look for composite setting. I click on composite setting. I click on black. 
and instead of leaving it black i click on transparent all right the composite setting is under render setting step 10 select preset okay so i go to the top is the first one preset i click on select and i look for burning text effect so this is the burning text effect in fact i could customize the core the glow intents the size and everything for example i can click on glow intense and look how it changes is intense and i like to like lower it so people can actually see the words okay so when you finish you click on file you click on save and you exit out. Right. don't worry everything will transfer to your premiere pro so step 12 the tide effect should be on your timeline if not we watch this video okay so this is how the effect looks so a little quick effect let me increase it so you can actually see it and you just see the glowing you see the burning effect which is pretty cool if you learned something please like share and subscribe